Yes, yes, that's me. How can I help you? Previously. I, I, wait, is that William? Wait, William? If the king knows you snuck out of, out here to have some fun, Miracle Street is bound to see some action. I don't care who you are now. The show is about to begin. I have three showgirls missing. Could you please help bring them back for the dress rehearsal? I'd like to ask you about your maintenance technician, Brank. Mr. Brank, he's a good person. Very caring. He often talks with me about his dog. Now that you're asking, it occurred to me he came to our club with some big wig from a gang last week. He wasn't looking too good that day. He might have gone to see Dr. Edward. Hey guys, the Elusive Mad here, and we are back with more Tales of the Neon Sea. We just made it to Nightflower Town. We are still looking for showgirls. And, uh, oh, workbench. I don't think I can make anything right now. I uh, forgot I had a broken massage stick. So we're looking for the showgirls and the one guy's son? My head is aching. I need to see a doctor. I think there's a thing that I have to go to right above elevator C? Right outside elevator C? Or is it this? No, that's the beauty salon. Looks like there's something under construction ahead. Maybe I have to go up elevator C and that'll take me to where I need to go? Oh, I think we have to go to the clinic, I'm pretty sure. I need more- I need a more advanced green card to go to the clinic. Or it's written here, accessible in off-duty state. I remember seeing a giant clock on my way here. It might have something to do with the system. I could probably find a solution there. Flower Town residents are required to synchronize their work and real rest times with the new universal clock. I trust that you'll follow these new regulations to the letter. Thank you for your cooperation, winner. Where I saw a clock, I don't know, but I saw a clock somewhere. Are you the VR? What happened to my VR partner? He suddenly disappeared. Did he go offline? Ugh, I can't... I can't finish this level without him. Damn it, this is so frustrating. Hello there, I don't suppose you happen to be a showgirl from Rainbow Club? Yes, I am. Did my boss send you here to find me? My partner just went offline. Can you please find out what happened? He went offline and caused me to fail this quest. I'm not going back to work until I've completed it. Do you know where he could be? In the real world, I mean? He likes to play at the Diamond Square in C-Zone, but there's been a lot of construction work going on there. If he's not there, he's definitely somewhere in Nightflower Town. He's currently in on-duty mode. No entry to this area permitted sucker. Looks like I have to wait for off-duty mode to go active. Maybe I can help to speed things up. I should go find the clock. So I have to find the clock. What is this? High-efficient high battery. This must be the universal clock I keep hearing about. Taking control of it will make my life down here a lot easier, I see. The clock circuit board. If I can get this thing working, it should be able to manipulate the clock. Um, I need to get some tools. Can I make anything while I'm here? Um, battery and cosmetic metal gun? Okay, so no. Unpowered laser cutting device. There we go. Laser cutting device. It has power, which should open up the other thing, which should let me mess with the time. Hell yeah. Laser cutting device. Let me just fuck with all of your systems. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Looks like someone installed this incorrectly. The light beam needs to be adjusted so that the signal reaches both ports. Placing the prism correctly should help. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, right, they turn really weird. I forgot about this. Because that'll split it. So I think what I need to do is maybe move this. Let me move you. 
Still not the right way. Do it like that, so you go there. There we go. Haha. -ha. I have to do that every time. Off duty. Ha. I was always a whiz with the laser cutter. Look at this area has entered off duty mood. It should be easier to get around now. I should find Brank in the clinic if for more information before letting the gang know. Also, the cops over here kind of left, so what's going on? Oh, different elevator? Oh, coffee bar. I can go to a coffee bar. I cannot access those ones. A 24-hour clinic, but you can only go in the off-duty hours. Mm-hmm. 24-hour service. Hello? Uh... Aha. Uh -huh. Damn, I can't get any information out of him. I gotta get an earful when I get back. The doctor didn't take us seriously because he's got friends in high places looking out for him. If the boss hadn't stopped me just now, I'd have taught him a lesson. He wouldn't soon forget. If he really does have connections, using force wouldn't end well for us. Yeah... Hey, Granddad, get out of the way! These guys look like gangsters. What's going on? Oh. I know it hurts, but I'll try, I'll try to keep still. Fortunately, they're just flesh wounds. These gangsters really have no principles. Um. Hey. Another patient. You don't look sick. Are you here for a physical? Dr. Edward, I'd like to ask about Robotty and Brank. I understand he was a patient here. It seems everyone is looking for Brank. Some gang member just came by asking about him. It's okay, Luna. Let's see if any damage has been done to the instruments. Okay, but you really should lie down for a while. Can you tell me about Brank? Sure, but you know I can't break Dr. Patient confidentiality. What I can tell you is that Brank lives in District A2, which is staff-restricted for Bellflower House. He often has problems with dog hair clogging his system, so he comes to the clinic every week for regular maintenance checks. There's a cafe over in District A3. Dog workers like to go there. Uh, you could probably find some of Brank's acquaintances. Okay. I'll check it out, but I don't expect Brank to be in deep with gangsters. There are rumors about him being close to some gang leaders, but... I don't know much about it. Brank hasn't received his regular maintenance for a few days. If you do find him, please remind him he's due for his inspection. Thanks, Doc. I'll find him, I'll tell you. You guys have anything for me to borrow? What's this? Genetic experiments? It looks like a really old medical journal. That doesn't look so good. What's this? High dimension memory. Nothing else for me to steal from your medical records? Damn. So maybe you have to go to the cafe. Finding out Brank's address was a bit of a reward, but if the gangsters are also looking for him, it means that things are more complicated than I imagined. I'm also interested in what the gangs said said back at the door. There's something odd about that doctor. So you're the detective looking for Brank. Who's he asking, pal? Nice to meet you. My name is Dunko. I'm a robot detective. Grandpa Charles adopt adopted me when and I live in his workshop. Okay, okay, yes. I'm Rex. Charles mentioned you. I heard you're looking for Brank. Indeed I am. I understand we share a common goal. I'm investigating the recent disappearance from some robots. Brank is the latest to have gone missing. I suspected that the gangs who, that the gangs had kidnapped them, but it seems that all the missing robots also visited this clinic. This is a major lead. I tried hacking the clinic's computer records, but found nothing useful. Maybe there are some critical paper documents in there? <laughs> Need some help? I would suggest the most logical course of action is by splitting our responsibilities. Please find Brank first. Here's a heaven level pass card. It's still experimental, so it's not completely functional yet. It can only unlock districts at orange level and below, but that should be enough to get you to Brank's address. While you investigate Brank's house, I'll be working on the clinic. If you find anything, I'll be at Grandfather's workshop. We can exchange information there. 
Good luck. Heaven pass card. Let's check out Diamond Square. Is that the guy the one girl was talking to? This must be the missing VR player. Did he just pass out? Did he fall? Hello? Is that a Pac-Man shirt? <laughs> oh, what happened? Did I fall asleep? Thanks for waking me up, buddy. I'll continue my game now. Let's finish this level! I'm happy or happy? <gasps> woof woof woof! What he said just now is that your scent makes him uneasy. Wait, who said that? You said that? Dog said that, then the other dog said the other thing? Well, I got the one guy. Temporary clothes, so we have to go back. But I can use the other one? Uh... Uh... Help, help me. That robot is in a bad way. Should I help him? Yes, always. It looks like we need to find a doctor to help him. I just will try. See if he makes house calls. Do you happen to... Hey, Doc, somebody up above might need your help. What is it? A robot seems to have passed out upon C1 District. Any chance you can check it out? A robot? Okay, I'm on my way. Luna, you look after things here. I need to step out for a while. Is there anything that I can kind of get into while he's not here? Maybe I can get the nurse's attention with this patient beeper. What is it? The nurse is distracted. Now's my chance. <laughs> Don't mind me. Ranks medical records. Exponentially high arithmetic ability and social competence. A real high-end technician. Several systems clogged with dog hair. Likely from walking his dog after work. Uh-huh. Angela. It's the missing person that the bartender mentioned. Her older sister was destroyed by humans. Didn't he tell me she's outgoing and likes humans? Because that doesn't make sense. Robots have a hard life too. I can't believe he didn't have enough money to replace his joints with all the work he's doing at, at the airport. The gangster robot? Isn't that the employee who couldn't gain entry before? Why should a technician need combat modifications? A mechanic. External bones are frequently damaged due to wear and tear, so extensive external repair is needed. Uh, correction of external bone balance is also required. He was transformed into a robot hatchet man by the gang, so the emotional system is extremely unbalanced. A, robot, a reset needs to be performed. Angela and Brank both missing, and both have records in this, in this medical log. The serial numbers also end in the same digits. There must be a connection. The similar serial numbers mean they were created in the same place at this at almost the same time. Could it be a coincidence? Unlikely. I need to keep this in mind. Alright, well I guess we have to uh, just gonna leave now. Hopefully I got everything I needed. Uh you Yes, I finally nailed that annoying quest. Thank you so much. I'll head back now. About time Elevator A So I have elevator A and I have elevator C. Is there like another one? That's a staff only. I could definitely not go there. But we could go to the maid's cafe. We'll go up here to the cafe. Hello? Huh? What's up? You're surrounded by dogs. Are you a dancer at the Rainbow Club? Uh, Francesca's looking for you. Uh, of course, the show's about to start. But I don't really want to go back. Tell you what. There are some questions that I have been that have bothered me. If you can help me answer them, I'll go back. Uh, let's see if I can answer some questions. Are you ready? I'll start now. I know dogs stick out their tongue to cool down when it's too hot in the summer, but why do dogs stick out their tongues in the winter? Um, Because they're panting? Dogs pant faster when they're nervous or excited, so they also stick out their tongues to calm themselves? That sounds about right. Next! Dogs are trained to follow ins instructions. Can they understand what people say? I don't know. Dogs can't understand language, but they can understand tone. They know what to do when they hear certain tones. What a pity. I thought Lisa could really understand me. Do dogs only eat vegetarian foods? Some people feed their dogs fresh vegetables and fruits. Sometimes I see dogs grazing on the weeds between the old tra uh, train tracks. Um, dogs definitely don't only eat vegetarian. Uh, yeah, they don't 
absorb vegetarian vegetable protein. Long, long-term feeding of fruits and vegetables can often result in death. Dogs may eat grass to clean their to their stomach, but they eat a lot of grass. They should be taken to the vet for examination. Oh, really? Wow. Thanks for the warning. You're pretty smart for a detective. The last person to answer my doggy question so well was Brank. Brank? You mean the maintenance technician? Do you know him? Of course. He often comes here with Ellie. She's so cute. Oh, sorry. You probably don't know Ellie. She's an... She's an absolutely giant corgi. I'm going back to rehearsal. Thank you for helping me with my questions. I found all three showgirls from the Rainbow Club. I should head back there now. Back and wait. Because apparently there's clues for Brank here. Well, hello there. Are you a new visitor to our little coffee bar? Hello, I'm looking for Hideyoshi. Is she here? Yes, yes, that's me. How can I help you? Mario's letter! <laughs> Mario asked me to pass his letter to you. He's too busy to come himself. Oh, Oreoma. Ore He's such a lovely man. Thank you. Wow, I can't believe Oreoma can write such sweet poetry. I can't wait to see him again. Great, I wish you two the best. I might as I might just as well ask Hideyoshi something. I'm looking for a robot named Brank. I heard that he really likes his they really likes his dogs. Brank! Ah uh, yes, he hasn't been here in the past few days. That's quite unusual. Is something wrong? Can you tell me anything else about him? He lives in District A2, above here. Yes, I remember. It's A2H7. He has a very cute corgi, Ellie, and takes good good care of flowers and plants. Has Brank been behaving strange recently? Behaving strange? Nothing really stands out to me, to be honest. Brank always was a quiet fellow. Hey, where's my sweet little Hideyoshi? Who's that? It's that disgusting sicko again. He's been pestering me lately. I'm sick and tired of it. Can you please do me a favor? Can you tell me... I can tell you more about Brank when you get rid of this slime ball. Should I help them get rid of their harasser? Well, I helped Mario deliver his letter, so like... Yes. Always yes. How can I help? He's pretty skittish, so if you make some noise down below, he should leave. Get going. I'll try my best to hold him off. I'm just gonna go down there and shake some stuff. <laughs> Can I go in here? I don't know how to make some noise to scare him off. Hopefully it's not time sensitive. No point going that way. Um, maybe here? I shouldn't be down. Maybe down? Over here? Aha! Oh, oh, maybe that has to do with something. What's this? I have to hurry up. Maybe I can use this delivery passageway to make some noise. Delivery passageway? This thing? Aha! Uh -huh. An automatic freight terminal. Interesting. But can I do something with it? Switch... Like that? Okay, everything is ready. Now to watch the fireworks. Is that what I wanted to do? Scare him off, scare him off. Oh! Hot damn! What's going on? Is there a problem? Guard, we must take a look. Hey Yoshi, wait for me, okay? Well, I got him gone. So she's gonna answer some questions for me. I'm gonna check by that arcade game. Game, buddy! It's got like a whole thing over here. What's that? Bridging gold. Oh, for the Godfinger, maybe? Mad magic. Oh, wait, is this the same game? I was totally hoping for a different game. Thanks, uh, thanks so much for scaring him away. He's such a slimy wanker. 
Don't worry about it, I'm happy to help. Now you mentioned you could tell me more about Brank? Well, Brank often brings Ellie here to play. He doesn't like talking very much, but he's always very polite. People here like him very much. Oh, I remember something that might help. One time when Brank was drunk on premixed oil, he complained that some gangsters were pestering him and forced him to do some work that he was really up that was really upsetting him. Forcing forced to work for gangs? I see. Thank you for your information. I still owe you for driving away that driving that idiot away. Thanks again, Mr. Detective. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave this part here. We have found all the showgirls and we are finding out more information on Brank. We're making progress on that. Uh, but I really hope that you guys are enjoying the series and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.